people forget the benefits of exercise and why they exercise in general. It's not just the physical, but it's mainly the mental. And that's what can really be helpful during this time. My name is Noelle Klimek. I'm a senior at Olivet Nazarene University. I graduated in about four weeks. Uh, the coronavirus has definitely affected me a lot recently. I had to move back home, move back to Michigan. Olivet is closed for the rest of the semester, so basically I'm done with college now, so that's definitely been a shift. Daily life in general has changed. Obviously it's quarantine, so we can't really go anywhere. We're kind of stuck in the house. For my job, I'm one, a fitness planner, so that's a personal trainer. I work with students, faculty, and staff uh, making personalized fitness plans for their goals. I have a couple clients I'm still working with who are faculty, and I'm still in touch with them virtually trying to train them, but it's also been hard because their main motivation was working out in gyms, working out with people. I think a big thing that makes at-home workouts hard is the motivation. As you get up and you go to the gym, just having that atmosphere around you is motivating enough. To them, at-home workouts is like the last thing they ever wanted to do, and now it's the only thing they can do. But we've been trying to push past that. I think this is something that's really interesting that quarantine is bringing out because a lot of people, they think that they don't have any options for workouts and that's just because they're not used to working out at home, but they don't realize how many options are around them. They're just not used to doing it. You have a carton of water and that right there is a perfect weight. You have a chair and they don't realize how many exercises you can do just with chairs. You have a staircase in your house. People don't realize there's so many options for things that you could do with the stuff around you. They're just not used to doing it. Even going outside and running, that act alone, there's so many different ways you can do it. You can go on a long run, you can go on a short run, you can be doing sprints, you can be doing fartlet runs, you can be doing hill work, hill sprints. The simple act of getting outside even just on a walk, the benefit that it can have. So there's so much you can do outside that people just aren't used to doing because they're used to having a gym to facilitate it. So a lot of that is breaking the mental barriers that people have and opening their eyes to the more ideas they have. The advice that I would give to people about staying fit and exercising during quarantine, one would be to remember the motivation and remember the importance of it. Just knowing the benefits that you get, it's not just about how you look or your body, it's the mental aspects. And I think that's what a lot of people need and a lot of people are struggling with, myself mainly, is the mental aspect of what quarantine does to you. I think that during quarantine, having this time, my daily life is so disruptive and it's so different than what I was used to. Having workouts and you know still getting active and getting myself moving is still one of the biggest things that's really helping me through this time. <laughs>